Fully improved weapons, nice. Got one blue gleam, nice as well. So I've got 11 more to get of blue gleams. And that was a new, not weapon, that was a quest. That's geared up, ice rail is complete. I've only got five side quests to go with the DLC. Before I go back up here, I'll go that one next. I need to go to a merchant. I might go to this merchant here and then run up the rest of the way. Get more Ridgewood. I could start running from where I am now and then fast travel to a merchant, but... Doing that as well, I risk not being able to grab things. Care to talk about these figurines of yours? They're not really mine, but I've always got time to talk about them. I've got so much sparkers now. Just to be safe, I might keep another one of those. I'll keep that one as well. How do I get more rap bone? That's all I need to know. Are you sure? You can never learn too much. Hard to see collectibles or pickups in the snow. Maybe I can trade this blue gleam. You can stop saying that, Aloy. Yeah, I won't worry about fighting those, they just take resources. Right, them again.
50 more than I'll do the upgrade. That got dark in there. I wish there was a way to pass the in time game. Like sleep or something. It's got a day night cycle, but no sleep mechanism. No rest mechanism. So close. One more tree will get me there. There we go, 404. And there's that one complete. East edge of the cut. Umnak said I'd find the claws beneath nearby. And of course it faced me the wrong way. Why did it face me uh, west? I'm glad I've deactivated that. Whoa! Rock breaker.
does look like I've stopped him being able to go underground. I didn't know I was behind him. I'm trying to get behind him. Not quite how I wanted. The clothes beneath. Hope Nak wasn't lying when he said you were tough. I was trying to hit those things. Well, it doesn't even show them now. I was trying to hit those things, which were doing a hundred and something damage, and they would be able to blow up and destroy and help destroy. Now I'm needing health again. This outfit's definitely come in useful. Never know when I might need these. Picks it up and then jumps over it. <laughs> I missed that box before. It's not the first time I've been in here.
in case I die for whatever reason, I'm now safe and don't need to do that again. Of course, I started going in the wrong spot again. I heard of a shaman once who drank a shame. I think the conclave banished him. I can't believe the tall neck of the cross figures walks with you. How is that possible? It's possible because I repaired it. Your lungs may scream for air, your muscles may beg for rest. It's over. It wasn't easy, but that rock breaker won't be hurting anyone anymore. The claws beneath brought low by an outlander. <laughs> this part of your song will travel far. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I've found people rarely live up to their songs. You're an exception, though. And you've done me a true kindness. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters it killed. My friend, my chieftain. He would be pleased to know his fate won't befall anyone else. Take this in thanks. I believe you've more than earned it. One blue gleam and extraordinary reward box. So that was the claws beneath. There's one more errand and three side quests. The side quests being the main story of DLC. I guess I might sell more What new resources have I got? There. Rockbreaker Heart. I've got something to sell only for selling. This one now has two slots. Awesome. And two ammo types. Nice. That may help with the uh, trial up here handling ice or damage Put ice and damage. Before I do that, 
I know I went just before, but I'm needing another break. Talk to our attack is optional. I will do it. Long notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost claws. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with his course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. You and Araya. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to her? What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines, tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. The first expedition. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried There's to the break cauldron. through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. What's past the door? What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. Why would Aloy be asking what's behind the door of a cauldron? She's the only one in the world that's been behind those doors. <laughs> Farewell. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. I'm not, I want to do it alone. Is there something I missed last time I was up here? Doesn't look like it. I forget what warmth feels like out here. Eloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider, someone ignorant of our ways, but no, not ignorant. I. Are you trying to thank me, Araya? Yes, of course. That's what you do untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but 
He's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Your cap is captivity. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. He did when say that. When all else that. is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him. Worried for him. Aratak and the war. What did the war do to Aratak? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banuk has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Silence? Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Ban Ur from the distant north, a young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. It was, or at least when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Uh -huh. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. Yep. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone, as though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. <laughs> what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous, but also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. I agree with her. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off, but you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. I never trusted him. Thunder's drum. What are we going to find up there, Horea? Ruins. Machines. And a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. Actually, there was one cauldron that I've been through that bandits were in. Time to ascend. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Ascend to Thunder's Drum.
Finally, we ascend.